All right. So you can see that I've uh, got a few more things done since the uh, last painting in between the last shoot that we did. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, do a little bit of glazing right in here on this uh, cabin and this window and things. And maybe try to do some around these rocks right here. So uh, stay with me and that's what so we'll do. Turquoise, a little blue and a little bit of medium for glazing. Let's see here what we got. You know, I could add just a little bit of this burn umber to it. Let's see if I've got a little bit here. And see, make kind of a black instead of blue right in here. Let's see. Pretty dark. Might be too dark. But, you know, there's not lights back here shining down, so this would be rather dark. But we can take a clean brush and Wipe some of it off or thin it down a little bit there. Let's see. Yeah, something like that. Let me grab a little bit more of this medium right here. Maybe there's something on the door there too. It's almost too dark. I think I'm going to have to get a brush and kind of clean brush here and see if we can get some of this off. See, I, this paint underneath is dry, so it come off pretty easy. Okay. Just clean the brush and all it does is stain the brush a little bit and we'll just clean it like we would regular. Maybe we're gonna put a little bit of shadow on these icicles hanging right here. And a little bit, let me grab a little bit more of this dark cover for this door right here. Take a, I'm gonna grab a liner brush if I, let's see if I got one here. Let me grab one right quick. All right, so I've got just a little script liner. And I'm just gonna highlight around some of these stones on this. I'm gonna use that uh, gray medium and Actually, I'm going to add some of this. I've got some light blue. It's almost gray blue medium to this. And let me get a little bit more of that brown. It's almost Christmas time right now. Getting close. Hope you're uh, preparing or maybe already have your heavy shopping finished. I've still got to finish mine. Get my shopping done. Maybe we put a little bit around these stones like this. And let's just see what it looks like. May look may not good. May look cheesy or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll try it. We can always change it. I'm just kind of experimenting. This is what painting's all about. It's taking something in your mind, chance of making it a reality over here. I guess what makes it so fun for me is doing these little things like this, taking something. I thought, well, I wonder what it'd look like if I take and go around this uh, with a color or, you know, you kind of see a house, it'll have stones and stuff around it. And this is our, almost like a little hobby house, ain't it? So I guess you can call it whatever you want. It's not going to hurt anything. If it doesn't mean it's yours, you can... Name it whatever you like. Maybe it's a little wizard's house or something, or maybe it's your house that you would like to have that you haven't built yet. Okay. I think that is looking pretty good. It's not looking too bad. And, you know, when it dries, if we want to, we can add a little more shadow, but I think that Putting that little bit of glaze to darken that on it really helped a lot. Trick is not to uh, do the same shape over. That 
that's uh, one of the main things. Try to do different different shapes so it don't look the same. You don't every rock's gonna be different on this thing, so you want to uh, keep them them random. You know the rock shapes and stuff. When you create these rocks, just think about different shapes and sizes. That'll help you a lot. Something like that. I just said that, and then I did one of these two rocks right here too much to look like. So we're going to change the shape one. That's all you have to do if you see it. Change the shape just a little bit. Okay. Maybe there's a rock right there. So I don't think that would be bright at all because there's a shadow right down in there. I, I do need to add just a little bit right here, I think. This needs a little bit of mortar, if you will. Looks pretty good. So that's how we get kind of the stone look in here and uh, get the shadows in. We can put layer, but that's what we're doing is more of a traditional painting where you do layer and layer and layer. But with the helps of different mediums, you can do this daily or work on it. You know, it'll dry enough to be tacky enough to work on it just to, you know, read the label about how to use the medium if you're not sure. Or you, you know, I'd usually just use a small amount. Sometimes I use a uh, more into the paint. Uh, you just don't want to use too much every time you paint because it could cause it to dry out and crack. So uh, just you find a good spot for you where you feel like that it's uh, thin, but usually it's uh, maybe like a 10% ratio or something like that, maybe to your paint. But sometimes you might have to add a little more, but you know, I, I wouldn't paint every layer like that. a little bit but I've added some icicles here and there and things okay so we've got that finished right here on these stones I'm gonna take some of that color and I'm gonna add a little more brown to it and I'm gonna put a little highlight on them rocks right there I'm gonna add a little white to this let's see mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay right in here Maybe there's just a little bit of highlight on these rocks. Kind of give them, they're not just little dark spots here. And like I said, you can always come back and add a shadow color on top of them with a glaze if and fix them like that. So, maybe a little bit in the water, just a few of them. This just adds more detail to those to the painting. When you do this, kind of take your time and do these little details. It just makes it that much more special. Okay, so we've got that, and I'm, I'll probably end up changing some of this, but I have to have a basis of what to go on. So that's for another day and then we're going to still do our christmas lights maybe around this uh, mushrooms and decorate them for christmas but that's later on in the painting so let's go ahead and look over here i'm going to touch this and some of it's still a little wet so it may bleed a little bit onto my color when i try to to uh, glaze this but it's, it'll be all right i think it's most of it's pretty dry i'm gonna grab some of that dark blue I want a cool color for a shade. That's just me. You can use whatever you like. But look how you can tone that color down. See there? But it's not bright anymore, is it? All right. Let's go right in here. I'm going to add some more detail into this. Uh, you know, I just kind of laid down a... When you're doing... For me, when I do waterfalls and water flow, and I like to lay the general motion down. And then go back and just add more detail and 
put the shadows where I want them and things like that. Just work with it. So enough of that. I see. Here. But it just when you do this, it pushes it into the painting. It's not just standing out going. Hey, I'm too bright for this area. <laughs> you know, say that. So it just pushes. The, it balances the color with it. And glazing is beautiful technique. It's a necessity with some things that you try to do. You just, it's hard to do without it to create all these illusions of depth. Because, see, you can put a shadow right here, but that one spot may be the light setting right there. See that? Cover it up just like that. And use just a drop more of medium and just a little bit more of that color balance it back out. One thing too, I think I've got some purple over here. Wouldn't that be nice with it? Sort of like in my last painting I did. Let's put just a just a touch. But this glaze allows you to see those little water ripples that I put on it. And look, see this rock right here? This rock's facing us. The light's back there. So, you know, this, but look, you can still see that turquoise color I put in there underneath that blue glaze that I'm putting on there. See that? And the darker you put it, it pushes that rock right down in there. I hope you can see that on camera. And you can do this. Let this dry if you want to. And come back tomorrow and put another one. It'll just get darker and darker, but you'll still be able to see it. But it gives so much depth down in there that you normally can't get with just one setting with this paint. Let's grab a little more of that color. Look, see this rock here? A little bit of that blue. See how it just kind of tones the green down and flattens that color just a little bit into a shadow. And look, isn't that nice? Let's see. Might be picking up some of that green that's not dry. I have to be careful. I need to gently touch. And you can grab a some of that color also and go like right here. See how I'm just touching a few spots? You can lay that in spots, different places, but and make it look like that there's a shadow just over that one. All of your light spots don't have to be light. It can be like there's a cloud in the sky or a tree or something up here blocking the, it's reflected light that type of thing. See that? A little bit here. Take a little more medium to thin out some of this where it's catching our canvas, making it too textured. We go down in here. I'm almost finished with this. I'm just going to add a little bit here. Look. This is the fun part. It just takes some of that rough, bright edge. Y'all see that bright bush right there? Some things I'll not be able to get today, but some of them I am. Tomorrow, it's another day. The good Lord lets us make it. We'll do another one. Throwing in random shades where I think I might want something uh, tomorrow or whenever I get back at this. Oh, uh, my hand's not in the way. I wasn't even thinking about that. I think I picked up some of that green that time. Let's put a little bit of that blue in there. Fix it up a little. Sometimes just a hint of color makes an area look special. You don't have to be a whole lot, just a, just a hint of color. 
I go over to this blue, I'm just throwing it in at random. But um, I guess that might have been the wrong choice of word, but I'm throwing it in places I think that the light would uh, be reflecting shadow stuff. I'm not just doing one big streak. I'm just kind of hit a spot, move along. And, you know, you learn from that how to... Uh, How to put that in. Right in here would be a little darker on that waterfall. So I'm gonna grab a little medium. Just a little bit more of this blue. And let's see what we got. See there? Thin. But you'll be able to see through that. Cold water is what it looks like, don't it? Like I said, if we get too much, we can change it. I'm just kind of getting this blue in there to see what, I, what I've got. All right. So, we got that much done this time. I hope we can get a little farther and get to these mushrooms and get those finished. And put a window pane in our little house. Things like that. Just little techniques and uh, fix all this snow and grass. Grassy, uh, snow-covered grass right here in the front. Uh, and hopefully sign it and be done with it pretty soon. So uh, check back with me. I'll have a new video up very soon. All right. Thank y'all.